Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Uh, again, with the, the brother Isa Abu Isa on his Facebook, he said that, <laughs> he said that uh, the term African American started in the 80s and it was used to hide the true identity of the indigenous American Indian, ba basically saying that the term African American America is some sort of conspiracy to hide the fact that black people are actually uh, American Indians. So I looked at a comment under his comment, right? And I was like, well, that's not true because uh, Malcolm X, not only did he call us African American, right? And he said this multiple times in multiple, many of his speeches, right? But he openly said that we are Africans, right? So I wanna, I wanna play a clip for you, inshallah. African Americans, or so-called Negro. Uh, one, of the, one of the reasons that it is bad for us to continue to just refer to ourselves as so-called Negro, that's negative. When we say so-called Negro, that's pointing out what we aren't, but it isn't telling us what we are. We are African, and we happen to be in America. We're not American. We are people who formerly were Africans who were kidnapped and brought to America. We... Our forefathers weren't the pilgrims. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. We were brought here against our will. We were not brought here to be made citizens. We were not brought here to enjoy the uh, constitutional gifts that they speak so beautifully about today. And because we weren't brought here to be made citizens today, now that we've become awakened to some degree and we begin to ask for those things which they say are supposedly for Americans, they look upon us with hostility and unfriendliness. So our unwanted presence, the fact that we are unwanted, is becoming magnified in all of America's preachments today. So as you can see, or as you can hear, rather, Malcolm X Wahimola clearly and blatantly said that we are not Americans, which that in itself refutes their entire worldview. He said that we are Africans in America. So I was I wasn't tell, like I, I wasn't telling the brother in a, in a room. I was saying you know this Malcolm X said such and such a thing. He blocked me on Facebook for that. So there's a problem because now you have a pattern of behavior where the truth doesn't matter as long as it as long as uh, anything doesn't contradict your worldview, you're going to accept that even if the truth contradicts your worldview. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's cultish. And black people again, you know, black people. You know, well, like, I love my people, man. I love black people. And you are not an easy people to love. <laughs> Let's put it like that. You know what I'm saying? And you know this. You know, you know, we know our people. We know them very well. Our people are not easy, easy. We love our people, but they're not easy to love. Because when they believe something, no matter how nice or how rough or whatever, if you believe something, nothing's gonna remove you from that, and that is a problem. That right there, that uh, quirk that we have in the black community right there is a major uh, stumbling block to any type of black gains. Because the enemy exploits things like that 
in order to keep you oppressed. 